What is up guys, it's Dinosaur here. Today I have a review for you guys of the Manigma Cube. This is created by John Keo. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing your name right, but sorry about that. And if I am, then I guess that's good. But anyway, John created this project on Kickstarter. If you don't know what Kickstarter is, I strongly recommend you look it up because it is a long explanation. Basically, it's just a place where people can create ideas, fund them, and have other people just pledge, uh, pledge money and stuff like that. So. If you want to know about Kickstarter, if you don't already know what it is, go look it up. It's a very simple concept, it just takes a little while to explain. But anyway, so John created this on Kickstarter and what he wants is he wants people to fund this so he can continue production of these Manigma cubes. And it's not a cheap business creating these guys, it's pretty expensive and the final result is pretty awesome. This cube although simple looking, is actually a pretty difficult puzzle to solve. It's much more difficult than your average Rubik's Cube because these little magnets, they have six on each cube and you have eight cubes all put together to create a bigger cube. And you have to put them all together in a perfect arrangement in order to make this cube solid and seamless. If you create a cube that is lopsided and not even, you know that you messed up. So the whole point is to create an even, smooth, and level cube. And as easy as that sounds, it's actually pretty difficult. And I have to admit, it took me a long time to be able to just solve one of these guys from scratch. So it's not an easy puzzle, but it is pretty cool and it's pretty fun to solve. So anyway, what John is thinking about doing is, this is the first and only Manigma Cube. So currently I am in possession of the only Manigma Cube. What he wants to do is have me put videos out of updates for the Manigma Cube. So he's thinking about doing updates like adding lights or adding multicolor transistent cubes or heat sensitive cubes that change color the more you handle them. So different things like that that make the Manigma stand out and uh, make it better than it was originally. So this is the beta version. It's going to only get better and better from here. So what you guys can do to help this succeed is to go over to that Kickstarter page and fund it and do whatever you have to do. But we need people to fund this thing so that it can succeed and keep going. So without further ado, let's get into the review. So right here, I'll give you a quick close up of what this cube says. It says John Keo. 2012 Manigma number one Dina's were beta project. So as I said before, this is the one and only cube out right now. It's the beta project. There will be more and more cubes that are better, nicer, and cooler in the future. All you guys gotta do is just help fund it now. So right here, I'll give you a demo of how this works. So I'm just gonna pull off two blocks right here. And as you can see, these guys are magnets. So they stick together because of polarity. So when you put them together, they snap. So that's how you get them to stick together. That's polarity, if that was any helpful. I don't know if that helped you guys understand polarity, but anyway, so that's the whole basis behind this entire puzzle. And it looks easy right now, but it gets way trickier when you're trying to put a, like a bunch of cubes together. It's just not easy because when you're putting two cubes together and putting them back together, it's very simple. When you're putting eight together, it's not simple at all. It's very difficult and it's much harder than you'd expect it to be. So that's the whole game behind this puzzle. That's why it's so tricky and that's why it's so addictive and fun. And that's why I like it so much. So right here, what you see in front of you is this final-ish looking product. It's what John wants the final product to look like, but he doesn't have a completely clear idea because he wants your guys' opinion on what it should look like. So while I'm sticking these two cubes together, I'm gonna explain to you guys what we should do with this. So you guys in the comments below, if you could comment down below what you want the final product to look like, just give feedback on the color option, the texture, or any other input you wanna say about this cube to make it better in any way you think could be possible, just so that John has a better idea of what he should do, what direction he should branch out in, and just so he can create a better final product for you guys and anybody that wants it. So right here, I'll separate the Manigma into even smaller pieces, just two by twos, and that's how it's gonna work. So it's very easy when you have it like that, but honestly, when you have eight pieces all separate, it's much harder than that. So right here, I'll show you what can go wrong with this Manigma and what can go right with it. So when you snap it into place, you're gonna get a solid click and you know it's gonna snap in. However, you may be getting a solid click right now, but that's a kind of false click. You may be getting it to stick together, but as soon as you put it together in the entire Manigma, it's not gonna go well and it's gonna raise up or not gonna work well and it's not gonna be even. And that's when you know you screwed up. So I'm gonna put it in the Manigma right now. I'm gonna show you right here. And as you can see, it's lifting up. So even though those two pieces stuck together, 
it's not going into the Magnigma itself because it has to stick to three other pieces not besides that single piece in order to create a solid click. And as you can see, it's still not working. So that's the tricky part about it. It looks simple, but it's not. You have to flip it around, get the right fit. And right here, I think I got it maybe. Actually, no, I still didn't get it because there's a little crevice right there. So I didn't get it, and it's harder than it looks. I'm telling you guys, you may be sitting there right now going, oh, it's not hard. I can do that in five seconds. It's not easy. It's not easy at all. I'm telling you this. Look at this. I mean, it took four tries just to get two pieces of snap in while the entire thing was already assembled. Try doing that with eight separate pieces. So it's a pretty cool puzzle already, and I am definitely liking that. And, uh, yeah, so... It's pretty difficult, and if you want to, you can spin it around too. So I really like this project. Now there's only one problem. It's not getting funded that well on Kickstarter, so what you guys have to do is you have to go on Kickstarter and fund this guy a lot, because it's a really cool project. I just think it needs a lot more spotlight, because nobody really pays attention to it, and I find it to be really interesting. It's really cool to solve. I've played around with this guy for I think like an hour straight, just because it's so addictive. And really, the deciding factors are you guys. You guys are going to most likely help get it funded. And also, you guys are going to be the ones that John and I want to decide what, what the final version will have inside of it, such as, as I said already, the colors, the different textures, how it glows, stuff like that. Anything you guys want this final product to have, just leave a suggestion down below. Even if it's crazy, just put it down there. See if you guys will be able to push this thing in a specific direction in terms of color and anything you want. Just give suggestions, fund this guy. John's a great guy, he just needs you guys to fund this and help him out. So I think you guys, if you could, just take a little bit of time. It's only 35 bucks just for one of these guys, so why not fund it? And I think you guys will definitely be happy with the final product if you guys can get this project funded successfully. So that's basically it for this. I will have a link for this in the description down below in case you guys are wondering. And thank you so much for John for sending this out to me. I really appreciate it. I really love this puzzle. And yeah, you guys just need to leave suggestions, push this project in a certain direction that you want so John knows where you guys want to go with this in future models and stuff like that. And that's basically it. Rate, comment, and subscribe.